Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Vikings going up against the Broncos. Larry, this 2017 season has given us enough thrills to last a lifetime, and now only one game remains, and it's the one we've all been waiting for as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to coverage of Super Bowl 52 from two-year-old U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Fielded about a yard deep. And, oh, he is really late out that time. Knocked flat on his back at the 24-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Here's a carry now for Keith Marshall. And some room to maneuver. Fighting down the Red Sea parts, and there he goes. And all the way home for a Bronco score. With a first touchdown of the Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. The first play from scrimmage. Some of these people haven't even taken their seat. That's what is commonly known as a fast start. That's what my horse racing friends would say. They caught a flyer out of the gate. And guess what? They're in the lead now. Now 
Now McManus on to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. carry for Latavius Murray. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter.
Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. side as he's knocked down no gain on the play there second down so nothing there I don't know that that's all in the back though you got to look at blocking there don't you I would agree with that totally at some point they have to win at the point of attack instead it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain now on second down and it's a short one here complete to the tight end and getting this just shy of midfield they'll spot it at the 49 12 yards there as they move the chains Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining.
And some changes here as the D-line separates some. On first down, Murray. Room to run inside the 40. And he's going to be run over. Hit hard as he'll be marked down. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence just to feel a little bit better, but I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. So second and ten here. They run it again with Cook. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. I saw Von Miller in college at Texas A&M. And all I kept hearing about was his speed off the edge to the quarterback. But what impressed me his balance and his ability to take on blocks and be a force in the run game as we just saw there. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, here's Cousins. Over the middle complete. That's Richardson. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And the offense lining up first and 10. Left side, Cook. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. A gain of three, second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now Cousins. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They'll run it. Here's Cook. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Now this Broncos offensive unit ready to head back out onto the field. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I think they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, 
That's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. They'll run with Marshall. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. Gun, Keenum. Flushed out right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Sharif Floyd. Able to get in there and drop him behind the line. And the Vikings with an extra defender in the secondary on third. Playing coverage here. He may try and run for this. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Give him five on the QB run, but it's going to bring up a fourth down. So on now is Brandon McManus. He has hit from as far away as 57, but that was in Denver. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that right there is something we've seen, oh, I don't know, 15 times in NFL history. That will officially go down as a 60-yard field goal. And everything has to be absolutely perfect for this to have any chance. He's got to get it out low and really drive through it. And I tell you, that was one heck of a kick, one heck of a decision on the sideline to even try it as well. down. Here's Cousins. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. So the offense has it first and 10. the shotgun it's Cousins into heavy traffic and it's intercepted picked off near the 42 and he will take this all the way down to the 38 yard line but this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes and here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone and this one basically comes right to him and the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run this is Marshall. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. They've got it second and six to start things out. They stay on the ground. This is Marshall again. Space to run past the 20. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. Here we go now. They'll run. Anderson. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the 5-yard line. 
So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. So they'll try again with Anderson. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. checklist okay as a defender <laughs> QB's last <laughs> running back full back head jet sweeps nowadays before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it now McManus on to kick this one off and no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and take it and now out comes Minnesota. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. <laughs> Working out of the gun, Cousins. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. <laughs> to throw, Cousins. He sets to fire deep. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be taken down deep into Bronco territory. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that will drive the team towards a victory. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run... Not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Second down, Cousins. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. The Vikings on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Cousins. Dancing to his left. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And Forbath will put this one through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. to so three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. Yeah, as an offensive coordinator, if you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work. But in his defense, this has been a stifling defense so far. So they've got to start finding a way to unlock them as this game goes on. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And they have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Shift together here from the D-line. They'll send the tight end in motion. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. second toward the left sideline but it's incomplete Brandon Cooks the receiver he was going after and it'll bring up third down I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me I didn't see anything open and this play just didn't look right from the beginning it did not I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away dangerous pass incomplete Nine yards to go. It's third down. A shotgun snap for Keenum. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there of 20 yards. tonight he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down two minutes to go here in the first half we'll come back to Super Bowl 52 after this They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Keith Marshall, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Broncos will extend their lead. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Now McManus on to kick this one off. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And he's brought down after a good game. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And now a first down following that long game. Now Cousins. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. They'll throw again. Cousins. His throw incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. On third down, Cousins. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. To the air again, it's Cousins. It's caught. In the end zone, touchdown, Minnesota. Stephon Diggs, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They go play action here on first down. incomplete. Well, the secondary has really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. this forward only to about the 42 yard line. He only got a couple on that one so not a ton of help they'll have a third and eight forthcoming well that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah I wouldn't be surprised now a little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation now a timeout taken perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry we'll see
The Broncos on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. throw. Dennis Pitta. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Now come the Vikings, they'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push them back more. Throwing his cousins. And Diggs has it. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that one. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard, and you probably ran them when you were five years old. How about that little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. And the wide out in motion. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Going to give this time to the tailback. 
And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third down. Winding down. Now Keenum. Screen pass to Charles. And a big tackle there as the defender runs right through him. Eight yards on the screen there. Not enough. And it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down. And for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together. And they had a chance to pick up a first down. But the defense got there and finished it off. And McManus able to put it through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So put another three on the board. And all things considered, a good opening drive here to begin the third quarter. It sure was. I think as a head coach, you're happy to come out and put a little drive together, take the three points, and build on your lead. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Complete. Richardson has it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. And it popped Spray. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Second down following the incompletion. To throw is Cousins. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Vikings on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and forever. Now it's the backup Simeon. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Uh, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Indeed going for it. Simeon trying to lay one up deep. And this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They'll run it now out of the gun. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Ten yards still left on second down. Working from the gun, Keenum. And down he goes. Keenum 
is sacked. Linval Joseph breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. And I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths, but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations. I think he did right there. Oh, I agree with you totally. Sometimes you have to understand situations. Get rid of the football, save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down. Instead, he was so hipped on ball security, he held on to it and took a big sack. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 17. From the gun, it's Keenum. Flush to his right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Josh Jones. 30, past the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They'll run the end around. This is Cooks. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now they'll run it on the toss. <laughs> And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Time running out here on the play clock. From the gun on third down, Keenum escaping the pressure right. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as second down following the run. Here we go. Three, 19. A handoff 
off as they run the counter play. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Brent, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Broncos on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and eight. He's taken down. Daniil Hunter able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds. And they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that loosen up things a little bit. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. He's at the 30, the 20. And he's going to be taken down deep into Bronco territory. It's a big one there for the Vikings. And even 70 yards. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. First down, here's the run with Cook. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Thank you. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to throw, Simeon. He rifles one that's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And now look at him go. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And a Bronco defense has a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And out now come the Vikings. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right? They, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. 
Now Cook. Cook with a first down and much more. The 40. The 30. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Vikings. A great play there. 75 yards. And the Vikings are able to close the gap just a bit. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. That'll be taken in the end zone. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And the play clock's running down. Back to the ground. This time it's Anderson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. The Broncos on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and seven. Play clock winding down. Here's Keenum. Polluted, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Daniil Hunter able to track him down for a loss of 13. And it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. Simeon on first down. It's complete to Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Tight, tight, watch, watch, tight, tight, watch, 
Second and ten. Simeon again. Throw left side complete. It's Richardson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. First and ten, Simeon. Throwing right, and that's complete. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Down at Simeon. And he's caught right at the 10 yard line. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And a strange one here, a little befuddled. They're sending out the field goal unit now. And Forbath will put this one through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So you knew one way or another that you needed two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll need to get the ball back. So, Brandon, the question is, how do you accomplish that? You can onside kick it. But remember, since you've got all three timeouts, you can still kick it deep and try to play defense. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Better give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be met at about the 43. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And ready now for second and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. And another timeout called by the Vikings now. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Right, here we go. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. See if they stay on the ground for second down. And he'll give it here to his running back. Oh, no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. The Broncos on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Hot. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout.
So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. And the Lombardi Trophy goes west. And it goes to the Denver Broncos, your Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports. Me put on my city all over the map. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, they wasn't believers, I had to get even in math. We coming up, pulling up, jumping all over your grass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So tell them my I got a new girl. Uh, uh, yeah. Tell them that I'm begging, I want all my fifties in cash. Bitch, I'm tired of living, check the check. Yeah. I need 20 models. Yeah, yeah. Smiling in my grave, fresh to death. I've been Wu Tang with a spectral deck. Getting yeah, I got the that I gotta just get off my chest. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I cannot miss it, I left on my list and you next. Uh, uh, Take it how you want it. I ain't famous like I want it, but I think I might just skirt off. Blow the speakers and turn off. Pop up. Go to church with my shirt off. Tell the Lord that I'm here now. I've been waiting for so long. I've been patient for so long. Breaking rules like there's no laws, and I did it for a long time. If you don't like me, take a ticket. There's a long line. Nice to meet me. I think the pleasure's all mine. They've been clocking me so long, I think they lost time. Ooh, you lost, lost, lost. What you mean? Woo! What you mean? Woo! And now check the... So, what the... What you mean? Woo! What you think it could pay me to 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 me and the devil got too much in common, I swear. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Born in the ghetto, I never had nothing to fear. Nah, nah. Take it how you want it. I ain't famous like I want it, so I might just throw a hippie fit. <laughs> Call up Cassie after she broke up with Diddy, yeah. I saw Shorty, if she talking, I ain't. Is she gonna call her friends up and up and We did, whoa. I ain't in the, in the talking, go chop off your lips. Yeah. If I ain't in your top ten, go chop off a bridge. Wow. My black boys, I got boys that knock off your lid. Wow. I dot your go pop off, so hop off my. Ooh. Ooh. What you mean?
You thought it was over. You thought I retired. You thought it was fishing with Kobe. You still as innocent as one of the coldest. Still a put up on the rapper here like Moses. Mm hmm. I'm so right like a molar roller. I'm cooler than a cup of yogurt. Black flag boy, truck soldier. I'm cool with laws and like a toller. Rap guards like Klopp and Ogre. I'm King Kong. Ain't nobody told you. You think bro still, 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 still. And by the brown, about to go get, go get, go get. I'm rich. I'm a humble Ali. I talk. I'm Jane Brown, about to tear down. I'm Michael Jackson. Some bad is bad. Gonna get it. What you mean? As we go on, when it's hot outside, I wanna just chill with you. What you need, the mind that needs, there's a little sunshine in the summer breeze. Baby, if you feel the same, then if you feel the same, then let me know.
Let me breathe for a minute, man. Just let me breathe. Just let me breathe for a minute, man. Just let me breathe for a minute. Just let me breathe.